Just pop this out. And I think we finally have some silver right here. Large scent. Looks like it's probably going to be a braided hair. 1964. Out of Philly. All right. Another one. That's cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio. Back with another detecting video. Uh, forgot to do a intro for this one. Um, I was going through getting this footage ready and I'm like, man, I didn't record one. So just going to pop in quick. Another day out with Scott. Uh, we're on a couple fields we've been to. One we've been to before. Uh, I believe we went to a place before this. Kind of got skunked out. Left. Went to this field. Uh, it was corn last year. Beans this year. So we got back to it. Did okay. Hunted there about an hour and a half or so. Two hours. And then we popped across the street to a site at a new, a new field. New permission that we got. Um, a lot of junk there. We'll probably go back. But um, we were digging a ton of aluminum and other stuff. Um, I think that house was there a lot longer. So, anyway, make a long story short. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, we'll see you in a wrap up. All right, out again with Scott today in the rain. Got an Indian. Second hole so far. Don't know if I'll get a date. We'll take a look at it. Hopefully, get it in a wrap up. All right, Scott just came over. He picked up a nice rains guide. Definitely an older one. So this is the site we were at last year. I think there was corn in it when we were here, so hoping for some more goodies. All right, just pop this out. Hunting with the legend again today. Well, it's pretty thin. I don't know what this is gonna be. And it is, it's a three cent nickel. Oh, cool. Yep, three cent nickel. You can see the three ones right there. I'll take that. Let me try to clean this up a little bit. Bring you back in. All right. There it is. 1869. There's still going to be some decent details on it. We'll take that. That makes me happy. Love it. All right. Scott says he's got something cool. I don't know what it is, but oh, that's kind of interesting. It's different, whatever it is. It's up a little bit. It's a little bent, but I don't know what that is. Either. Brooch? Don't know. Buckle? It's ornate. Yeah, it's definitely ornate. Very interesting. I don't know. I don't know what it, you call that. I like it. But like I, I said, interesting. That probably rung up real nice. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which is less than a uh, largey. Right. I just popped this out. I'm getting a 45 on mine. Scott's getting less than a large scent on his, so. And it's junk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally popped a button. Looks like it's just going to be a plain Jane cuff button. I don't see anything on it. Still has the shank. We'll take that first button from this spot today. We did pull a few out last fall when we were here. It's low on the buttons, which is usually a little abnormal for these sites. Scott's got one. Maybe an Indian, he says. I think I'm going to agree, and I haven't even really seen it yet. Yep. Looks like the head right there. That's an Indian. Yep, that's an Indian. Good eyes there, Rick. Yep. 1884. First coin at this spot. We're across the road from where we were hunting earlier. So we have not found much to speak of. Lots of copper, little chunks, and aluminum. That's it. So, all right, on the board. Scott says another nice button. Oh, that is the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. But it's old. You can tell Fill by the back of it. And a little star on it. Kind of looks interesting on the... Yeah. Oh, maybe that's just solder I'm seeing. I thought it was writing, but I think it might be solder or something from when they put the post on. But 
that's the second that's one definitely found. cool second one he found here scott hunted this for about 45 minutes a week or two ago so if that all cool. right yeah. nice all right just popped out a toe tap right there that's definitely old we'll take that another sign of life all right, been tough going. We did finally find a cuff button over here at this site. There's been a few things here and there. It's been slow. Lots of targets, just not a lot of good ones. So there it is, been over shank. We'll take it, cuff button. All right, we are back for the wrap-up. I did not have a ton of finds in this one, but we definitely had a good time this day. So um, tried out some a new spot. And an old spot. The old spot probably still has some stuff to give up there. Um, the new spot, we'll go back to lots and lots of uh, aluminum there. That must have been a house that was there a lot longer than the first one we hunted. But all in all, still pretty happy. Like I said, fun time. We did pick up a couple of little cuff buttons right there. So, got them cleaned up. No writing on the back of these ones, really, that I can make out. So, just your standard... Uh, cuff button and then I do have that Indian here I did get a date off it is going to be a 1876 one year off of the uh, 1877 that everybody wants to find so bad which is the uh, key date of key dates in the Indian head series but we'll take that and I got the three cent nickel as well right here it didn't clean up very well I tried to get it with a toothpick um, probably got a little wild with it, but it is a 1869. There is the reverse. We'll take that. Happy to find those. These don't come up very often, so I'm always happy to see them when they do. So like I said, not a ton of finds for me. Scott had a pretty good day. He got on a few nice finds, uh, as well as that Indian head that he got. So all in all, we'll take it. But regardless of the uh, Small amount of finds over this. It was probably a six or seven hour hunt this day. We were hard at it, just not much to show for it. So, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you coming along, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.